A form is not complete without a submit button. Once a user has finished filling out a form, they should be able to click a button that sends their data to the web server via the action and method attributes we specified in the form element. As I mentioned previously, it would take more server-side code programming to make this form actually submit anywhere, but it's still important to learn about the HTML elements that make up a form. One of those important form elements is the button element. I'm going to type one out and then we'll explain how it works. Just below my text area here, I'm going to type a button element and I'm going to make it of type submit. And then it will automatically close my button element if I'm using workspaces. And inside of it, I can type sign up. So let's save that out, switch over to the browser, and refresh the page. And as you can see, we have a nicely styled button that we can click, and it will submit our form. Of course, in this particular case, we're not actually submitting anywhere, so it won't quite work, but that's generally what a button will look like if it's styled. Similar to the text area element, buttons are not self-closing. They require an opening and a closing tag. The type attribute in this particular case is submit. But there are two other types called reset and button. The reset type will automatically clear all form data when it's clicked. The button type has no default behavior and it's mostly intended to be used in combination with JavaScript. The type we've used here is submit. The default behavior of the submit type is to as the name implies, submit the form and send all the data over to the server. That's it for buttons. Next up, we'll learn how to organize our form.